would turn your Bibles to the book of Psalms that we this morning. The Psalms that are sung. And we're going to teach out of Psalms 34 this morning. We got such a blessing out of studying 30 through 34, 35. And uh, there's some backgrounds on David's request to the Lord and his statements to the Lord. And, uh, the times past in his life where that uh, didn't seem like that there was anything that good could happen to him, and, uh, but the Lord was always uh, with him. And Amen. Uh, this morning, uh, you know, uh, I've seen a scripture here this morning that might encourage uh, some of us this morning. Uh, in uh, Psalms 29, it says here, for his anger endures but a moment. In his favor a life, and in his favor a life. We, weeping may endure for a night, but joy comes in the morning. Amen. And that this morning should encourage each one of us. Uh, it's not all doom and gloom. Right. Because the Lord, the Lord has always got his eye on us and he's got his ear. Uh, listening to our prayers and and uh, we should be thankful this morning that we have the opportunity that we can come to the Lord and ask uh, the, the things that we do for him and I sometimes wonder uh, I worry him but listen you know we don't worry the Lord amen uh, I know he prepares us with his like I said his his children and you think about our fleshly life as a child we come to daddy and mom and ask for this and ask for that and uh, uh, sometimes you know you get it sometimes you wouldn't but the thing of it is they, they understood everything that was going on in your life and the, and the Lord does too and he's merciful to us always and so in Psalms 34 verse 1 he says here and this is the cap a little thing about uh, when he was uh he came to Amalek uh, and asked him bread, and uh, he got the sword and all of this from the, that uh, David had got from Goliath. And in, in, in this, he reading uh, that Amalek got killed, uh, and so uh, uh, there was there was some trying times uh, in David's life. But he says, in all of this, in verse one, I will bless the Lord at all times. And this means, you know, when things are good, I mean, it's easy to bless him and thank him. And when they're going bad mm -hmm. and, and they're terrible, uh, it's uh, it seems like that the devil's always got uh, something to say to you and to keep you from uh, getting in touch with the Lord and praising the Lord. But he says here, <coughs> I will bless the Lord at all times. His praise shall continually be in my mouth. And that's not just half the time, but he says it's always. Amen. We should be ready to praise the Lord. And, uh, I, you know, I, I see more and more each day as I get older and as I have more uh, things to think about. And all the Lord, he's always in our life. Amen. And we just, we just, have, we just sometimes miss these things. But uh, I want to encourage you this morning to praise the Lord because, uh, he says, my soul shall make her boast in the Lord. Amen. The humble shall hear thereof and be glad. Now, when we, when we, when we praise the Lord, and as we can praise the Lord anytime we want to and thank him for what he's done, listen, it says here, it, it, as we boast in the Lord, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad. And the, those that you can... Uh, Tell before uh, say before the Lord how great He is and how how good He is to you and those that are humble and those that are down and out it will lift them up also Amen. this morning and I this morning if there's anything I would ask the Lord to let me do is to encourage Amen. encourage everyone because you have no reason to be. Uh, discouraged. Amen. Uh, the devil, I know the devil carries a big stick and the devil, uh, he can put those thoughts into your mind and he can do all this, but just remember this, who's got, who's in charge of the devil 
And the Amen. Lord just lets it go so far. And, and he, he goes every inch of the way that he can go to discourage you and all. But be encouraged because there's, as the, the scripture says, joy comes in the morning. Amen. And this morning, one of these days, we're going to stand in the presence of the Lord and rejoice and praise him throughout eternity and say how great thou art because Amen. you were with us there on earth and we we knew it but we didn't praise you as much as we should and this is a morning this is a morning you know this is this is a as the old saying is this is the last day this is the first day of the rest of your life and you can start a new morning this morning by praising the Lord and saying Lord I want to praise you and I want Amen. to thank you and I want to uh, be closer to you and this is what David said he said he said my soul shall make her boast in the Lord uh, the humble shall hear thereof and be glad and then in verse 1 he said it will continually be in my mouth and so this is a should be an encouragement but I want to turn if you would this morning for just a minute and read something to you in the book of Ephesians in uh, Ephesians 5 I have a scripture here I found I wanted to to read to you. Ephesians 5 and verse 20. Notice. Give thanks always for all things unto God and the Father in the name of our Lord Jesus Christ. Amen. Submitting yourselves one to another in the fear of God and so this is the thing this morning that we should do is to submit ourselves in the fear of God and we need to fear God we need to and that's one way that we can even worship God is to fear him because we give him all honor and all glory and we know that he has got full control of us he can do what he will with us and so we need to do this this morning he says and look up in verse 16 he says here redeeming the time because the days are evil uh, wherefore be ye not unwise but understanding what the will of the Lord is and be not drunk with wine for it is excess but be filled with the spirit speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs listen if we can keep a song in our, on our lips and in, in our heart hey that is one of the biggest defeats the devil has See, Amen. Lord, as long as you have a cheerful heart a joyful heart and singing praise to the Lord, listen, he cannot, he just cannot stay there. And so if the, these are some of the things this morning uh, that he says here, speaking to yourselves in psalms and hymns and spiritual songs, singing and making melody in your heart Amen. to the Lord, and giving thanks always for all things. This is, a, this is what David is saying here that he did, uh, as he said that in verse 3, he says, O magnify the Lord with me and let us exalt his name together and this is what we've come for this morning is to exalt the Lord's name Amen. and we should be we should be on high this morning because listen we're not laying in the nursing home Amen. we're not laying in the hospital we're we're not all somewhere not even knowing anything about the Lord but we're here in his presence Amen. and we've come to to have a, a meal we've come here and a spiritual meal I'm talking about we we need to be filled to the brim with God's word this morning and go away and that we can we can serve him as a, the only way that we can and, and that's the best we know how so he said in verse 4 I sought the Lord and he heard me amen now if he heard David He'll hear you. Right. And don't ever get down on yourself and say, well, uh, I don't guess the Lord heard my prayer. He, he hears every prayer. Uh, some of them, some of them won't, won't fit in the piece of the puzzle right now, but later on you see why, and sometimes you're getting a little bit ahead and they fit later, but listen, when you're praying to the Lord and you say he, he's not answering, don't give up on the Lord. Right. Because he heard your prayer, I'll guarantee you he heard your prayer. And this morning, he will he will remember that prayer. And one of these days, you'll see things happen. And listen, there's nothing no greater this morning than to, to pray a prayer and have it answered the next day. Amen. I, I mean, that, that just gets you bubbling over to the point where that you just don't, you just can't explain it. But listen, he does that also. 
and I can I can vouch for that because I've had him to do it. Amen. And so here he says, I sought the Lord, and he heard me and delivered me from all of my fears. Now, the thing of it is, these fears that he was talking about, Saul was running, Saul was Saul was going to kill him, and he got already killed this this priest here for giving him uh, the sword and for the, the, the food that he gave him, the bread. And, and David knew that Saul was after him and Saul was going to kill him. And he said here, I sought the Lord and he heard me and delivered me from all my fears. They looked, they looked unto him and were lightened and their faces were not ashamed. This poor man cried and the Lord heard him Amen. and saved him out of all of his trouble. And this poor man he's talking about is none other than David. Mm -hmm. And David was a great fighter, a great man of God. But listen, he was he was in fear of his life here. He uh, he was blessed when the people come to him. There was a uh, four hundred of them, and they they, they made him a leader. And uh, he was encouraged. And this is what he's talking about here. And uh, this poor man cried, and the Lord heard him and saved him out of all of his troubles. And uh, notice now in verse 17 down here, uh, the righteous cry, and the Lord heareth, and delivereth them out of all their troubles. And so Amen. this morning, you may say, well, you're just up there reading some words, and it don't happen to me that way. Listen, you need to get closer to the Lord. Amen. You, need to, you just need to get be closer to the Lord, because listen, he answers prayer. People, Amen. And he, he blesses us this morning, and and makes us happy and, and uh, glad to be alive. And so here uh, in verse 7, the angel of the Lord encamped round about them that fear him and deliver him. And I believe I made mention of this once here and not too long ago, but the angels, the angels encamp around us. And uh, I, I know this morning that uh, they, they watch over us because uh, the Bible tells us of, of him sending angels to certain people and to talk to certain people and to protect in certain people. And listen, you have an angel. I have an angel. I believe that with all my soul. Amen. We have angels that's watching over us all the time because if it wasn't, I'd done be dead a long time ago. But listen, I've, I've, come, I've come that close. But the, 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 the Lord sent angels and, and gathered around and protected me and helped me and strengthened me and yeah. healed my body. And I praise his holy name for it. And so here the angels of the Lord encamped around about them that fear him and delivered them. Oh, taste and see that the Amen. Lord is good. Amen. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. So this morning... If, you're, if your taste buds are kind of dried up this morning, I, I would suggest to you, <coughs> like he says here, the, taste the Lord, taste the Spirit of the Lord. And he says, oh, taste, in verse 8, oh, taste and see that the Lord is good. Amen. Blessed is the man that trusteth in him. And so this morning, I want to encourage you, I want to tell you that David did what he had in his life and how that that the Lord spared him, and, and I mean, he he did so many things, even the, he <coughs> slipped up on Saul while he was asleep and took part of his garment. Listen, the Lord, the Lord can take care of you. The Lord. Amen. And, 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 and I, I know this morning for a fact that, uh, well, I know that his word's true, and I know what he, what he had the day that you write, I know this morning that it's true, and I believe it, I trust in it completely. So he says here in verse 9, O fear the Lord, ye his saints, for there is no want to them that fear him. Amen. Now, now you think about fearing someone, and the, the fear is not that he's going to hit you over the head or, or do something like that to you all the time. But listen, he is God. He is almighty God. He is, he is our our God of gods. He is the one that made the world. He Amen. Is, he has a son, Jesus Christ, that's come and died for us. He is great, and he is to be feared. He is to be reverent. Amen. He is to be obeyed. And that's what David is saying here this morning. Oh, when he says here, oh, fear the, oh, fear the Lord, ye his saints. Now, uh, 
Uh, you think, well, a, a person that's a saint wouldn't have to fear him. Listen, we do. We do. We have to respect him. And listen, I understand what David is saying about fearing the Lord. Amen. And sometimes I get scared of myself saying things that, and even in praying, sometimes I, I pray and, and, and I say, well, I, you know, should I say it better or not? And I fear the Lord and I ask him to forgive me if I've said anything, if I've done anything wrong before yeah. him, I want, I, I want him to know that I fear him. I love Amen. him. He knows my heart. And so here he says in verse 10, the young lions do lack and suffer hunger, but they that seek the Lord shall not want any good thing. And so this morning he's saying they shall not want any good thing, and sometimes we as as his, uh, pe as his people and as his servants, we might ask for things that are not really good for us. Amen. And, not, uh, and, and, and the flesh, the flesh is uh, guilty of that. Man. They'll ask for things that really and truly is a harm to them. And, 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 and worldly riches is one of them mm -hmm. because worldly riches causes problems. I don't care what people say. When, when you've got... But much money or much property or stuff like that that you have to lay it, lay up and wake at night and pray and and think about if somebody's going to try to get that from you. Listen, it's a hindrance to you because Amen. you could be laying there praising the Lord and saying thank you, Lord, for the piece of bread that I had for lunch and uh, not for the, all the worldly pileups that we have. So and and there's nothing wrong with it. There's nothing wrong with having plenty of money. There's nothing wrong with it. But you've got to put it where it belongs. Amen. And that's in the world, and 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 not not let it be a, a barrier between you and the Lord Jesus Christ and God. So here he says in verse eleven, "Come, ye children, hearken unto me. I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that desireth life and loveth many days that he?" That he may see good. And so we see here that he's he's trying to, to teach people how to fear the Lord. And the fear of the Lord uh, is what uh, is what the Lord has said that he that we need to do is to fear him. And he says, Come ye children, hearken to me, listen to me, and I will teach you the fear of the Lord. What man is he that deserve desireth life? And love with many days that he may see good. And all of us do. All mm -hmm. of us want to see many days. All of us want to have a good life. And all of us do these things. So he says here, keep thy tongue from evil. Amen. And thy lips from speaking God. Depart from evil and do good. Seek peace and pursue it. And so this morning, this is some of the things that we do because we fear the Lord. And this is something that we should keep a close tab on our life and uh, of speaking evil because you know what James says about the tongue, it's rule, it's an unruly uh, vessel and it's, it, it's, it's set on fire of hell. Right. And uh, sometimes we'll let this tongue get in gear before our mind knows what it's saying. And we have to come back to the Lord and say, Lord, I'm sorry. I'm right. sorry what I said because I, uh, and, and but it, it happens that way, and that's the flesh for it. It, it. it rules that tongue, and so here it is. So he says, Keep thy tongue from evil, and thy lips from speaking guile. Depart from evil, and do Amen. good. Seek peace, and pursue it. The eyes of the Lord are upon the righteous, and his ears are open unto thy cry. And so this morning, like I said a while ago, when you're when you're praying, when you're when you're asking the Lord for the things that you need, He says here that His ears is open. Amen. And he hears He hears your prayers, and just pray with a with a uh, understanding heart that the, of, of what you're asking for and you need, uh, because uh, I I pray a lot of times uh, to say you know I want things, but listen, it's not a need. So many times I do that and, and want them to, but listen, the Lord supplies my needs. Amen. He yeah. supplies my needs, people, 
And uh, uh, that's not enough for this flesh. The flesh is is a sinful thing, and it wants it wants other things Amen. to come in and to hinder me from serving the Lord. But He says here in verse uh, verse sixteen, the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, to cut off the remembrance of them from the earth. And that that means this morning for, uh, that the, the, that what it says, the face of the Lord is against them that do evil, and we this morning that. Uh, are saved and, and know the the love of the Lord, we we should have a desire in our hearts to speak to those that are evil and to tell them their condition. Amen. Because listen, they are in a in a terrible condition, and uh, you know I, I don't know I don't know, but it's my duty as a as a Christian when I have an opportunity. Tell someone I need to tell someone. Amen. I do. I try to because uh, and and if, if if it offends them, well, I, I'm I'm better off than they are because I didn't offend the Lord. Amen. Because if the Lord lays someone on my heart to speak to them, listen, I I try my best to do it. If I can get a word or two in and try to praise the Lord, I want to do it because listen, that blood. Uh, his blood sometimes, as the Bible says, their blood might be, be held from your account mm -hmm. because you didn't do what you were supposed to do. You didn't go the extra mile and speak to them and tell them about the Lord Jesus Christ. And so uh, it's a dangerous thing this morning to let someone uh, that the Lord is, is, is telling you, you need, to, you need to say something to them, and you let it slide because, listen, then you're guilty. Amen. And... Uh, so you, you need to think about these things. Uh, and we all need to think about these things. So the, the, the verse 17, the righteous cry and the Lord, the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all of their troubles. Now this is what David was talking about up here and I read it up here uh, uh, in verse 6, this poor man cried. But the righteous cry and the Lord heareth and delivereth them out of all their troubles. And so this morning, again, I, I encourage you and I uh, uh, tell you again that the Lord does hear you. And the, if you're his child, he hears your cry. Amen. And the Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and that say and say such as be of a contrite Spirit, or this contrived means sorry for wrongdoings. He says, The Lord is nigh unto them that are of a broken heart and saved, such as be of a contrived spirit. So, this morning, these things here are th the things that we need to keep in our minds and humble ourselves before the Lord Amen. and ask Him to forgive us and to uh, strengthen us and, and, and help us not to do these things because. Uh, we have we have an adversary out there, Amen. and he is he's on the prowl. And uh, uh, the Bible says he's as a roaring lion, seeking whom he may devour. And he'll he'll discourage you every chance he gets. So many in verse nineteen, many are the afflictions of the righteous, and that don't sound encouraging. But listen, many are the afflictions of the righteous, but the Lord delivered him out of all. Of them all, and of course, here is David's writings, and he, if you'll read the life of David, of course, I know David got into a lot of things, and David uh, uh, was, but he was, he was, he was an apple of God's eye. He was, he was a, a, a man after God's own heart. He, Amen. He was a good man, and in, in, in even though he he got into trouble, but now he says here, he keepeth all his bones. Not one of them is broken. Now I I am of the of the opinion that David is is talking about himself, but it also applies to Jesus Christ hanging on the cross. Amen. And so uh, uh, he 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 wrote it down. He keepeth all his bones, and not one of them is broken. And so he he never did suffer broken bones. I believe that's what he's what he's trying to say here. 
but he says in verse 21, evil shall slay the wicked, and they that hate the righteous shall be desolate. The Lord redeemeth the souls of his servants. Amen. And none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. And so again, here's this encouragement that David is David from experience all of his life. He says here, the Lord redeemeth the souls of his servants, and none of them that trust in him shall be desolate. And so the Lord will not leave us uh, alone. He'll be with us. He'll watch over us. And he'll protect us. And he'll love us. And he'll care for us. Amen. But we, as God's people, we have to trust him. We have to fear him. We have to keep our, our tongues in order as best we can and, and not uh, be out of his will. And, and, and it's a two-way thing. The closer you walk to the Lord, the, the better off you feel. The Amen. closer you serve him, the better off you, you can get prayers answered and, and feel his presence. And uh, I like to feel the Lord's presence. Amen. Uh, he sends the Holy Spirit sometimes, and I can just, I, I, I know it's there, I can feel it. And I love it. Amen. And uh, when he don't, it's sad. And I, I think, well, what have you done? And so, you know, these are some of the things that I believe David would have us to hear. And uh, uh, remember this, and, I, and I'll read this to you if you will. If you, it, it won't take me but a minute. Over in Psalms 103, I want you to read I want 103. In verse 8, where did it go? Let me get to save it. Yeah. In verse 8 of 103, the Lord is merciful and gracious. Amen. And remember this slow to anger and plenteous in mercy. So he has plenty of mercy for us, and it takes a while for him to get angry. And uh, if you can catch it in time, people, and, and go to him and ask him to forgive you, hey, he, 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 he'll forgive you. Uh, he will not always chide, uh, uh, neither will he keep his anger forever. Now, notice this chide is a rebuke, uh, a scold. Uh, he says he won't keep that forever. But listen, he does it because sometimes you sin. And the Holy Spirit comes to you and says, you know, you shouldn't have done that. Amen. And that's just, that's just chiding. And <coughs> he hath not dealt with us after our sins, nor rewarded us according to our iniquities. For as the heaven is high above the earth, so great is his mercy towards them that fear him. So there again is this fear that we need to have of God. As far as the east is from the west, so far hath he removed our transgressions from us. Amen. I believe, uh, if I ain't mistaken, Brother Larry read that the other day. And uh, on as far as the east is from the west, and I got to wondering why didn't he use south and north? Well, south pole and north pole, which ain't no east pole or west pole, so it don't never end. Amen. His mercy don't never end. So we thank you for listening to us. Hope that something I read will bless you and help you through the. the we come in and uh, keep you happy. Amen.